the Canada Group presents Remax Fine Homes, luxury living in Orange County, with your host Leanne Canada. Good morning, and welcome to Canada Group Remax Fine Homes. Hope you enjoy the show today, and I've got some great new properties to show you, along with some tips. But let's start with the open houses. You're gonna love these homes. How about putting the sign right over there, Chris Lee? Hi, I'm Crystal Lee Canada with the Canada Group Remax Fine Homes. Welcome to our open house. Don't forget to visit us at those open houses. And I also wanted to remind you, if you have any issues or real estate questions that you would like discussed on the show, please email me because we would love to answer your questions and discuss the pertinent topics. Also, when you go to the open houses, don't forget to use our agents as resources because they are full of information and they can really help you in your search and we know that when you go to open houses you are actually doing your own research so please ask questions of the agents and welcome to this beautiful family home in the Hunt Club, very exclusive neighborhood in San Juan Capistrano. This home has it all. It is absolutely a perfect family home. In fact, we can have as many as seven bedrooms. Also has a home theater that blacks out and the screen comes down. It has a wonderful guest house in the back for your traveling friends. And it has a pool in the backyard with a slide for all your kids to enjoy. San Juan Capistrano actually preserves the hillsides as they have a ridgeline rule. Therefore, you cannot build a home in the city of San Juan that encroaches into the ridgeline, so you always get the contour of the natural hillside, which makes the town just beautiful and quaint.
not going to believe this amazing 1936 authentic English manor set in Floral Park, which in and of itself is an amazing neighborhood. This home is set on an almost 17,000 square foot lot and it takes up 5,821 square foot of incredible living space. Everything is so authentic and this home was the 2007 Home of the Year in Floral Park. When you visit this home, you will be amazed by all the authenticity. The doweled floors, the moldings throughout, the butler's bell in the dining room and the master bedroom. Welcome to Nellie Gale and this beautiful home at 25762 Nellie Gale Road. The front living room is bright and spacious with hardwood flooring. Lighting accents adorn this lovely dining room. This wet bar is the perfect partner to this large, beautiful family room. The kitchen boasts a six burner stove and all the amenities. Several options, including offices, are found in this six-bedroom, six-bath estate. This is truly a multi-generational home with lots of room to spread out. The master bedroom and adjoining lounge gives you plenty of room to relax. Have you ever seen a more beautiful bathroom? Every detail planned with loving care. Your private theater comes with these oh-so-comfy large theater seats to sink into. And enjoy this lovely backyard with built-in appliances and a babbling brook and koi pond. This home is literally your personal playground, featuring riding stables, adjoining arena, and multi-use sport court. Call the Canaday Group today to schedule your private tour of this gorgeous home. Now that winter is over and spring is upon us, it's a good time to check your home for all of the things that could have gone on during the stormy weather we had. So I have 10 tips for you for preparing your home after a severe winter. Even though in California, we really don't have that severe of winters. The first thing, tip number one, is to have a roof check. Sometimes you can get roof leaks during severe rain and wind and not even know it and you're attic can be getting wet in there and dry rot and, and stuff like that. So it's really good to have a roof check once a year. The second thing is you should have your gutters cleaned. The gutters that go around your house go into the drains and if they get clogged up it can cause problems with the rest of your house. So have your gutters cleaned of debris that were blown in there during the winter. 
The next thing is to look for leaks. And I'm not only talking about roof leaks, and those leaks you can look in your attic for, but also check your hoses for, around your washer and dryer. Look for corrosion around your sink and under your sinks. Tip number four is to clear all your drains. You're going to need your water draining uh, clearly and smoothly in order to get any rain or extra sprinkler overflow off your lot. Number five, also check all your windows and door seals to make sure that you're not going to get water penetration. Make sure they're all cocked, make sure they're water tight. Also, number six, make sure that you patch all the cracks in your driveway, in your sidewalks, on your curbs, any place where water can penetrate, which causes things to lift and to separate, and it will cause further damage if you don't patch your cracks. And number seven goes right along with that, around the pool, there is caulking and if you don't re-caulk your pools then water will intrude and lift your tiles up and it'll lift your decking up so it's really important to re-caulk around your pools. Number eight, paint your home especially the wood trim because when the trim paint gets bad you expose the wood to the elements and to dry rot. So it's time to paint. Number nine, check your HVAC. Have an expert come out and make sure your air conditioning is working and your heating is working. And change out your filters. That keeps everything a lot cleaner. And last but not least, check your home's grading. I'm not talking about bringing out a tractor, certainly, but make sure the dirt slopes away from the side of your house so you keep water running away from your slab and not into your slab. Very important. So it's really good to get in the habit of doing all 10 of these things every year. That way your home is well maintained and it stops you from getting problems with it, along with maintaining value of your home. to live waterfront in Orange County? Well, I've got the perfect home for you. This is resort living at its best. It's like being on vacation every day. We're also adjacent to a green belt, which is so serene and calming. Plus, it only gives you a neighbor on one side. Not only do you have your own dock, but you can tool around the lake, go over to the clubhouse, which is immense in size and has all the facilities you could ever want, including a sandy beach, tennis courts, huge rec room, exercise room, and anything else you can think of. So you need to come and see this beautiful resort home. The whole house is totally redone to the nines and it's a views from pretty much every location in the home. Oh my gosh, I love the views from every room in this house. And that lake and that boat are calling my name.
I'm thrilled to introduce to you today this amazing home in the Hunt Club in San Juan Capistrano with 5,680 square feet of spectacular living. Five bedrooms, five baths, even a basketball court. And much, much more, like this fabulous living room and this perfect office and this incredible gourmet kitchen with the biggest slab I've ever seen, which services straight into the family room. And how about this amazing outdoor living space? Waterfall fountains and a spa complete this lovely pool area. This dining area features a swinging butler door leading into the kitchen. And how about your own dry sauna? Not to mention the never-ending walk-in closet. Contact the Candidate Group today and make this dream home a reality for you. I'm here with Bree Morris of Chalk Hospital and the Candidate Group is all about giving. In fact, with Chalk Hospital we're considered a 100% company, which means that out of every escrow we close, 100% of the escrows, in fact, that we close, we give proceeds to Chalk Hospital. So, Bree, where does that money go? I'm so glad you asked that, Leanne. So, because Chalk Children's is a Children's Miracle Network Hospital, we do partner with Remax uh, throughout Orange County, but we are so fortunate that the Candidate Group donates a portion of their agent closing fees back to Chalk Children's. So, that money is going to go to our unrestricted fund called Kids Care. And Kids Care is basically the greatest need of the hospital. So because Chalk takes in any child, regardless of their family's ability to pay, um, that means that those proceeds can be going to pay for their medical bills. 60% uh, of our children are underinsured, so that's extremely important. It can be going to some sort of surgical tools to do those life-saving surgeries on those very, very tiny babies. Uh, we have a wonderful neonatal intensive care unit, so that can be where those funds are going. It goes to that most dire need of the hospital, which is something that's decided upon um, by the highest, uh, the highest leaders at our hospital. And I assure you that 100% of those proceeds that your agents are donating back to our hospital are going to the best cause and the, the children and their families that are being treated at Chalk Children's. It's such a pleasure, Bree, spending time with you today. And we will continue our relationship with Chalk Hospital. Thank you for being with us. in beautiful San Clemente at this downstairs master ocean view and turnkey perfect remodeled home. Wait until you see the downstairs master. It is just the best. The living space here is so cozy yet all together open to the backyard, to the ocean view, to the kitchen. So everything is within reach. Oh, you caught me. Here I am in my favorite part of this San Clemente home. Downstairs master bedroom, which everybody seems to want. This bedroom has a wonderful fireplace, a barn door that goes into an amazingly remodeled bathroom, and an outdoor that goes to this giant backyard that also has an ocean view. In addition, San Clemente has the best outdoor living space. We have the Pier Bowl, plus restaurants on the pier, beachfront activities. I think actually in, I'm not going to tell you the year, but when I was 15 years old, I won the ocean swim here in San Clemente. Then you go to Del Mar Street, where they have more restaurants, more shops, and a farmer's market on the weekend.
Hi, it's Leanne, and I'm very excited to talk to you about this property today in Monarch Bay. The reason is it's single level ocean view. Now those are two of the most important things people are looking for right now, ocean view and single level, and we've got them both right here. Not only does this home have a single level and ocean view, it also has four bedrooms, three baths, a swimming pool, and it's been totally remodeled to the nines. In fact, the flooring, the kitchen, the bathrooms, all new. And what about location? From here you can actually walk to the beach. Shopping's right across the street and you can catch the Laguna Beach trolley from the corner. Welcome to Pepper Tree Manor. You're gonna love this estate home. It pretty much has everything, including its own private tennis court, gated motor court, 1.6 acres of land, six bedrooms, seven baths, 8,400 square feet of luxurious living. Wait till you see the rest of this home. One of my favorite parts about this estate home is that you can stand right where I am and look at the billiard parlor, the giant double-sided fireplace, the huge family room area, the breakfast room, the kitchen, the sit-down bar, and it all opens to an amazing outdoor living space. If you're looking for a luxurious estate home with pretty much every amenity possible, nestled in the hillsides, looking at the ocean with a tennis court, then welcome home to Pepper Tree Manor.
Not in a buying sort of mood? Take a look at these outstanding lease opportunities in some of the most desirable locations in all of Orange County. And don't forget, buy or sell your house before school starts again. It's good timing right now. I hope you enjoyed the show today, and I also hope you had a great 4th of July a couple days ago. See you again next week, and thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.